One, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome everyone to the morning announcements. I'ma say my name so you can pronounce it. Bo, ma, ni, ar, ma. Shout out to early risers. I see who you are. My morning ritual. Thanks for having me over. Start with audio, visual, doses, and kofa. My favorite occasions a few moons away. I'm counting rotations to watermelon day. If you're with me this morning, I hope that you're with it. Two things that I want and three ways to get it. Black solidarity, African independence. Honor the ancestors, prepare descendants. Third thing you gotta do is love right now. I mean that in every sense and every way you know how. Now throw them up and say what should increase on one, two, three, peace. All right, let's do the mic. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning announcements with Bomani Arma on Thursday, January 12th, 2022. I am Bomani Arma, and we are 205 days away from Watermelon Day at Sankofa. We are here to honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. Friends, help me break the algorithm, pass along some positivity, get some RBG energy in your life. Join my email list at notarapper.com. All right, friends, every morning we pour a libation for one of the ancestors. Today's libation is for one Miss Charlotte E. Ray. Charlotte E. Ray, January 13th, 1850 to January 4th, 1911. An American lawyer, she was the first black American female lawyer in the United States. Ray graduated from Howard University School of Law in 1872. She was also the first female admitted to the District of Columbia Bar and the first woman admitted to practice before the Supreme Court of the District of Columbia. Her admission was used as a precedent by women in other states who sought admission to the bar. Let's do a quote. This one is not by Charlotte E. Ray. This one is by Charles Hamilton Houston. A lawyer's either a social engineer or a parasite on society. A society A social engineer is a heavily skilled, perceptive, sensitive lawyer who understands the Constitution of the United States and knows how to explore its uses in the solving of problems of local communities and in bettering the conditions of the underprivileged citizens. Charles Hamilton Houston. All right, I'm going to read this quote again. This is not from Charlotte Ray. This is from someone who would have been one of her professors. Mr. Charles Hamilton Houston said this. And so I'm thinking that Miss Ray must have fit into this category because she graduated from Howard Law. Let me read this quote again. A lawyer's either a social engineer or a parasite on society. A social engineer is a highly skilled, perceptive, sensitive lawyer who understands the Constitution of the United States and knows how to explore its uses in the solving of problems of local communities and in bettering conditions of the underprivileged citizens. Charles Hamilton Houston. Unfortunately, little is known about Charlotte E. Ray. Excuse me. Unfortunately, little detail about Charlotte E. Ray is preserved by history. I searched for quotes from her directly and found none. I found quotes from her contemporaries about her, including one of her classmates who wrote, I have been told that her admission to the bar was secured by a clever ruse, her name being sent in with her classmates as C.E. Ray, although there was some commotion when it was discovered that one of the applicants was a woman, wrote Lelia J. Robinson in 1890. It is disputed by historians whether she pretended to be a man to be admitted into law school, but it is definitely a fact that she was a pioneer and had a short legal career from all the trouble she had battling sexism and racism. I've decided to highlight this quote from Charles Houston, who would have been one of her professors, to help us understand what kind of woman she would have been seeing that she graduated Howard Law. I hope to find more information about her and present it next year when her birthday comes around. Until then... Thank you, Charlotte E. Ray, for your perseverance and trailblazing ways. Let's pour a libation for Charlotte E. Ray. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out of beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames to flickers, we pouring out some liquor. We're the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs. Honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation is for one Miss Charlotte E. Ray, the first black woman to get her degree in law from Howard University and to practice law in the the District of Columbia. 
All right, friends, let's keep this moving. As you know, I am a hip hop artist, a teacher and an educator. I'm promoting a whole bunch of products right now, including my new project you can only find on my website, um, Baba Bomani's Beatbox Basement, a new collection of children's music that I'm sure you will love. Go to my website, notarapper.com or babagatbars.com for the children and you can find more information about that. Um, I also have a whole bunch of merch available. As you know, I am the Watermelon Man. Get your Watermelon Man flag apparel available at notarapper.com. We got the DC flag. We got the Maryland flag. We got the RBG flag. We also have the morning announcements merch. I got my cup right here. Honor the ancestors. Prepare the descendants. Love right now. Go to the details for this, vi for this video to find out more information about that, all right? Now, I want to give you an example of the kind of music that I do. Um, I'm about to play for you one of the songs that I do for my young people, um, just to get you in the mood of what I do as a hip-hop educator. Here we go, friends. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that video for y'all yet. I got to make sure I have my, my audio synced up. So let me play something else. What I actually meant to play for you was this track I have called I Baba. Let me work on getting that up. My bad. Um, you've already seen this before if you're a fan of mine, but I am trying to get this video more plays. So I am playing this as often as possible on my own channels. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Bomani are my, the watermelon man. On the track. If you ever wonder what seeds I planted that helped me become the watermelon man, how I got the money to fund my hip hop habit, I got that from being a teacher in my community. Let me break it down. First things first, I pop up, muli muwa with toto, for show, with my pro flow, since the days of madness and hobo, I spot and Taj Mahal for gogos, waiting for the conga solo, drums make heart race like the logos on your polo, when chocolate city turns to hot cocoa, keep it bouncing like a pogo, some things you gotta do when you're loco, like eat fries with mumbo, or join on Tony Romo, I rep DC to PG, uptown to upper Marlboro, no part of DC or MD I won't go, no part of my beautiful blackness that I won't show, I'm CNN, between Nora Ray and Chris Cuomo, Caps of a thousand words of one photo kindergarten is time lapse prison time happens slow-mo i've taught both so i got theories here they go these little bros with no dough ain't pressed to bring the bag in like frodo or walk with bros with their dogs like toto they listen to trap rap like it's a job promo life on edge the slightest thing can put them into go mode they just want a home though women express love no need to say no homo so I rewrite the bro code rap kids and culture like basotos from lesotho here a reference that you don't know was google on your phone phone but teaching kids is 90 as a high school sophomore, up in Largo back when a mo was a joke. Boys and girls club with their roller Carlos. Can't you see like that single from Toad All if you paint a picture for students that's hopeful Marinate students in love like it's a dobo You can show bros with bow nose and girls to be flojo So I put the message to a dope flow I'll say it again though you've heard it all before In the wrong environment the seed won't grow Ask a fish to climb a tree his talents won't show Give musician their instrument boom virtuoso Uh this ain't the theory that I'm speaking I know so I learned from an optimist with a capital O To kiss from Bell, Dunbar and LinkedIn and Cardozo, an after school program, hip hop dojo, new age creole, our integration mogul, proving it with metrics or even anecdotal. Now the hip hop doctor suits all the places we will go. Frederick Hart for Baltimore, and a run no moco. St. Mary's Charles with Chester, we're comico. Coming to America like Eddie and Arsenio to tell your kid their mind's dripping, so let their soul glow. Our foes chase no doze with four logos. Use their waking moments to put our kids in chokeholds. My mind's my nine, my pins, my Mac. Ten vocals kicking the dough, waving the fo fo. All you heard is Bob and Mulimu while we're toto. Look it up if you don't know. First things first, I Baba Mulimu while we're toto. Baba got bars. I Baba Mulimu while we're toto. I 
am performing in front of the public playhouse is a theater here in Prince George's County. That was me getting ready for my show I had last year called the ABCs of Hip Hop. I am coming back to the public playhouse to do my next show. The first show was for kindergartners through second graders. This is for third graders and up. This show is called the Frederick Douglass Writing Club, writing for freedom since 1838. Um, I am really excited to bring this to the stage here in my hometown of Prince George's County. You got to come through. Bring your young writers. Everybody will get a Frederick Douglass Writing Club journal, and I will walk you through the process of understanding how Frederick Douglass used literacy to change the world as we know it, all right? Now, if you've been watching this program on a regular basis, you know that I start every morning by pouring a libation and then also playing... Um, Lift Every Voice and Sing, written by James Wel James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson. I'm getting ready and I'm practicing because I want to start my show off, not want to. I'm going to start off my show at uh, the Prince George's County Playhouse by playing this song. So I need to get in as many reps as possible. Thank y'all for being my small audience every morning so I can get used to playing in front of an audience. Friends, I am about to play for you the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Here we go. Ooh, friends, that was the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing by James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson. Um, I think the best rendition I had playing that was this past Tuesday, but I think today I just did a better job. I feel myself getting better at it. I'm excited about playing this live at the Prince George's County Public Playhouse. Make sure you come check me out. Bring your young writers. Go to my website. You can find more information. Get your tickets. It is well worth the $5 that it costs. You get a writing journal. You get to experience and understand more about Frederick Douglass, a local hometown hero. He's from D.C. and Maryland. I will see y'all then. Um, here's what I need. There are three things I need you to do today. I need you to honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. That's honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. At the count of three, I need everyone to say peace and throw up the deuces. I'll see y'all on Monday. Here we go. One, two, three. Peace.